poppin' y'all, it's your girl Kim, aka Kimberly Simone, and today I'm here with this fun summer bright orange look. Um, I'm using a new palette um, from King Beauty, Queen Beauty, the Brazilian Carnival palette. Um, I really like how this turned out. I tried uh, mixing my matte Born This Way foundation, and I like it a lot better mixing it and using some dewy moisturizing products, so it's just more like... I think it looks a lot better. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. If you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I want y'all to be beat too. Turn on your notifications so you know when I got some new heat for you. And without further ado, let's get to it. Today I'm taking my Glossier Brow Flick in brown. Just combing my hairs up so I can see exactly where I need to fill in. Trying to do a really natural look today. On the face, that is. I feel like this gives me the most natural brows. There is a learning curve, like I always say, with this, but it is really fire. Taking my Glossier Concealer in G4, and I'm going to sculpt. Oh y'all, this summer I feel like has been like the summer of skincare. Today I got my Fenty Skin in the mail. I really like it. I got this new Derma E set for acne control and breakouts. It's been helping me a lot. <clears throat> got some Saturday Skin. Toner and the vitamin C sleeping mask. And I got some of my favorite, y'all. I'm so excited. I got some products from my faves over at Bloom Effect, y'all. I'm partnering with them on a giveaway on my Instagram. So make sure you are following my IG. They're all about clean beauty, clean skincare, and their key ingredient is proprietary royal tulip nectar. <clears throat> the tulips are grown over in Amsterdam, and they're actually ones who supply the tulips to the royal family. So I'm going to be trying out the Born This Way matte foundation. I'm going to mix it because I think it's maybe just too matte. And if you saw my review of it, I think maybe the color is a little different. <clears throat> Y'all, I'm almost out of my cover, girl. Got to get some more. I think it was on sale. <coughs> to prime my face, I'm taking the Marc Jacobs primer. I'm not a huge fan of this primer, but I need to use it up. It's expensive. It's like that silicone vibe. So it's good for blurring, but I don't know if my makeup kind of stuck to it that well. I'm also going to take some of my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in Dark.
I'm so happy to be back working as a makeup artist. I had taken a break because of coronavirus and I just didn't feel comfortable. I still am very selective in <clears throat> the people that I service. Really only people that I know and people that I know have been wearing masks. So people that I know for real, they have good sense. And I also like, if I'm doing a big wedding, I wear my face mask and all that. In my face shield. I need to get some jewelry cleaner. I'm forever getting makeup on my earrings. Yeah, I think I like the way this looks better. And just the Too Faced Born This Way matte by itself. Taking my Glossier Concealer. So yeah, you guys, I had my first makeup class yesterday. My first live makeup class, but it was virtual. And we had such a good time, you guys. The ladies were really learning so much about the process of doing their own makeup, having a flawless finish, and having it last all day. And they've been sending me their selfies and telling me how they got ready for work today and tried the tips and asking for recommendations on products to buy. If there's one item that I can recommend that everybody have in their collection, it's the Morphe Face Complexion Palette. So I have the 8R, that's rich. And they have, I think, a fair tan medium and then they have a deeper one and they're really bomb you get a, br a brightener shade you get two bronzers contour two blushes one matte one shimmer and two highlighters $24, but it's definitely bang for your buck because you couldn't probably get all of those for $24. And put it in your cart and see if they send you a coupon. <laughs> looking so glowy. I do think the Born This Way has a nice, the matte has a nice staying power to it. But it was just too matte for me. It was so matte that I seemed to, it didn't seem to blend down all the way. Taking my Fenty Beauty bronzer, cream bronzer in Toffee Tees. This is not my favorite either, but I'm trying to use it because I bought it. Taking my Morphe Maddie Ziegler Peach Out Cream Mousse Blush. I love this, y'all. I love the formula.
set my face. I'm taking my Dermal Blend Translucent Powder. Translucent powders can be scary, but I'm trying to tell people that they're really what they're missing. To set the rest of my face, to set the rest of my face, I'm taking my Sephora Micro Smooth. I'm so excited. I'm going to start watching Moesha on Netflix tonight. I'm taking my Morphe AR, that's Rich Face Complexion Palette. I'm taking my two bronzer shades and just mixing them up. Bronzer is my favorite part of makeup, y'all. Yeah, I just ordered a bunch of, well, not a bunch, because I'm on a budget, <laughs> but I've ordered some Charlotte, some items from Charlotte Tilbury that I've been wanting. I got the, the setting powder that just, or this, yeah, the setting powder, the pressed setting powder in Deep that they just came out with, or Dark, I don't, I can't remember, but the deepest shade they just dropped. And then I got the bronzer and the setting spray. And I'm gonna dab into the contour shade. Erase those quarantine snacks. I'm gonna go into my blush from the same palette, y'all. Have a switch. Now I am going to do a different highlighter using the Bobbi Brown Afternoon Glow. So pretty on. Just switching it up. So I've been reading the Michael Todd Relationship Goals book, and it really got me committed to doing, spending time with God through prayer, praise, and prayer, praise, and reading the Bible, reading the book. And I just feel really good since starting it, guys. I'm taking my pineapple flower uh, oil free matte mist. Alright, y'all, today I'm going to be testing out a new palette. I'm not going to do anything crazy. But this palette took almost eight or nine weeks to get here. It's the, the Brazilian Carnival palette from King Queen King Queen Beauty. I like reached out to them several times and didn't get a response a few times. And then 
finally DM them on Facebook and Instagram and finally got some information, but it shouldn't be that hard. I never even got like a shipment confirmation. It said I was going to get one, never got one, but it finally showed up today. I, right off the bat, the names are on like a little sheet of plastic, so you don't so you probably won't remember them after you take that plastic off because there's so many shades. Let me show you the inside. So it's a nice palette, nice size. You get a lot of different colors. Um, each little eyeshadow is kind of small, but I also ordered the Lemon Palette Beauty Glaze. And it looks like... Somebody accidentally dug their finger in this glitter shade, and there's like a little fingerprint in this one. So, it came all the way from China. Their communication is horrible. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try to get a refund, because I just don't even see it happening, honestly. So, I'm going to be priming my eyes with the Peel Aways, Peel Aways base <laughs> in Rumor 4. I think this is my first time using this, y'all. Blend out, blends out very easily compared to like the Make Mac Paint Pot can dry. Down, it'd be really hard to blend out. I will. Bake with the colored powder. So I'm gonna go in with this brown shade right here. Okay, pigment. But the pigment is there, y'all. I'm going to take this brown-orange shade. Let's go back in with that dark brown shade. Taking that same dark brown shade right on the edge. <laughs> Gonna be taking this shade.
Kenny, come sit down. medium brown shade that I use up here and just blend it in on this corner. And then the dark brown shade again. Be taking some lashes. So today I'm going to be taking the Juvia's Place Cola Liner. And in bulk. Gosh, man. So I'm just gonna take the same dark brown shade under my eye. And then that same brown orangey shade and the last thing i'm going to do is take my new patrick ta she's thirsty dewy milk mist spray it on my face it smells good All right, you guys, this is the completed look. I do think I like this palette. Um, I do think that this is a super fun palette with lots of colors. Um, I need to play around with it some more. I'll just do a few swatches. Let's see, I'm gonna do this blue. Pretty. I'm gonna do, oh, I dug into another one. They're so small. Try some random shades, just see. I'm gonna try one of these pressed glitters. It's pretty. So I mean, it's a really pretty palette. I just don't know if I'll be ordering from them again. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed this look. Let me know if you have any palettes from king queen queen beauty and uh what your thoughts are i don't know if the shipping is always this long if it's just because it's from china or if it's because of covid um but their communication was really poor they don't send confirmation emails or this has shipped tracking information never got an order number it just randomly showed up after i asked them about it not crazy about that but i mean the shadow is pretty it's little um, I don't know if it was just me or if 
I don't know, I had a little patchiness. I'm going to play around with it some more and let you know my final thoughts um, in another video. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like and subscribe so you'll um, be in the beat fam too. And I will see you in my next video.